dear first grade students. This is our chapter about weight and we are still comparing things. In our previous session, we compared between two objects each time and we used the words heavier and lighter to describe them. In this picture, the book is heavier and the pencil is lighter. Now, it's time to compare between more than two objects. We have your usual school supplies today. We have a pencil, a book and your backpack. Let's use a balance to compare. We are placing the pencil and the book on the pants. Easy to say, the pencil is lighter than the book and its pen will go up. The pen of the book will go down because the book is heavier. Now let's remove the pencil and put the backpack. Watch what happens to the balance. The pan with the backpack moves down. This means that the backpack is heavier than the book. Do you think the backpack would be heavier or lighter than the pencil? This time we will compare all three objects together. Too bad the balance has only two and not three pans to compare all three things at the same time. I am going to use the word heaviest. The backpack is heavier than the book and the pencil. So I can say that the heaviest object is the backpack. The lightest object is the pencil. Notice how the words end with the est because we are comparing three objects. Now let's try with animals. We have an elephant, a bird, and a horse. Think for a second, who is heavier than whom? The elephant is heavier than the horse. The horse is heavier than the bird. Do you think the elephant is heavier or lighter than the bird? Now let's decide which animal is the heaviest. The elephant is heavier than the, both the birds and the horse. It must be the heaviest. Take a guess which of these animals would be the lightest. Let's revise our new words quickly. I can compare between two things using the words heavier and lighter. If I am comparing between three things or more, I need to use the words heaviest and lightest. Watch out for the endings. Thank you for attending this session. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new. See you next time.